Elizabeth's new thing is that she will take a piece of food from the food bowl and that's her toy for the day. And she will play with it all day long. Ma'am, ma'am, there's literally toys all over this house for you. There's even a piece of feather from one of her mice. <sighs> Elizabeth, you are so weird. But I love you, princess. Yeah, I do. You want me to kick it? Yeah. Hello, I'm going to tip top best. I just did a lot of cleaning. Um, the way I have this set up really blocks the light. Maybe we'll do this. Hold on, bear with me. That's not any better at all, but whatever, it's fine. We look like alcoholics. I just don't have a bar cart yet. Actually, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> There's so much going on in my head. So I have a little Banny haul. You know, Lucy called me out said I always have a haul in the vlog and I do um I actually have quite a bit to haul this vlog because I meant to do it in the last vlog and I didn't but today is Martin Luther King Day which means I was off work which means I went shopping um I hit TJ Maxx up early um they didn't have a whole lot of good stuff but they did have a couple of things I went to get another one of those wooden trays I showed in last week's vlog and girl I sure did um and it's up in the guest room it's not the one I wanted I wanted there were two different finishes there was like the raw unfinished one that I got and then there was one that was stained and finished um and I was gonna get that because I thought it would look cuter with like the mustard black and white and wood theme that I have in my head for that room but you know no spoilers that's what you're getting um however it is what it is that's what we did um and then I got it and then in my peripheral on the next aisle over that's a lie. I have no peripheral vision, actually. My eyes are damaged, but it's okay. Um, I was just perusing after that, and I saw this planter. And is this not the cutest thing? It is a beautiful neutral color with these hearts um, and these little dots and this little white paint over it. And I just I thought that my snake plant or my monstera would look beautiful in here. I don't know that it's big enough because I just it doesn't have like a drainage hole. So I'm just going to stick the green pots that they're in in there. I don't know if that's gonna work, but that was only eight bucks. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. And then as I was headed out, they had the um, the carts. I still to this day, so I worked, <laughs> my first retail job ever was Ross and the three tiered carts that we put um, everything on, they called them Hummers. And to this day, I want to call them Hummers, but most places just every other place i've ever worked retail wise has only called them carts so i always have to think before i say because then i sound stupid but on one of the carts they were still putting um product out and i saw the cutest little thing i thought for a second it was lay crusade because they make some like this um and they're beautiful um not that i would have bought it because even tj maxx lay crusade prices are outrageous they're still much better than original and one day i will own an entire cabinet of Le Creuset. One day, if YouTube ever takes off, <laughs> um, that's a joke, but you know, if it ever does happen, if I ever become wildly rich, I just want all the Le Creuset in the, there's like a, there's a slate color. It's almost black, but not quite, and it's matte and it's beautiful. <sighs> but I will also take a few of the pink heart pieces as well. But it was just like, it's a little, it's by the bake shop. Oh, by Masterclass. That's who makes my pots and pans that I absolutely love. Um, and I just fell in love with it. It was so cute, but I actually got it for, I got it for my chip clips, which I keep in this little guy. Oh, it's dirty. I got something on it. Um, I keep it in this, which is an aroma, like a, not aromatherapy. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, it's like an essential oil diffuser. You don't have to put water in it. You can just put it on the flower. It's like those wood flower, those wooden clay flowers that I have upstairs. Um, so I have my chip clips in there now, and I think I'm actually gonna keep them there because I actually think this would be cute on um, my little tray on the ottoman. I think so. Um, I don't have anything in it, but it's really cute. Uh, so I like it. It was only $5. I kinda wanna go back and get another one because I had two and I kinda wish I'd gotten both. And I'm gonna be out anyway. Anyway, um, so that was my TJ Maxx haul. And then, I finally got myself to the crystal store. So let's talk 
I will stock all my other crystals at another point in this vlog, hopefully right after this. But I went to the Stonekeeper's store. I was on a mission, you guys. So when I went to the crystal store, I asked them which crystal would get me pregnant. They told me Moonstone because it was for divine, I can't say this word, femininity. Femininity? Femininity. Yay. Um, and they were right. That is what it was for. Oh, my contact is driving me nuts. It wants to come out. However, hold on. Thank you. Um, I then Googled um, what different stones were for and came up with carnelian, which is not only <laughs> the stone of fertility and sexuality, but also, I am so awkward at all times, but it is also the stone that is supposed to help with back pain. Now listen, at the end of the day, do stones have healing powers? I don't know. But when you're in pain and you're not allowed to take pain medicine because you're trying to conceive, you take what you can get. And right now, what I can get are crystals and chiropractors. I need to make a chiropractor appointment. But I got two carnelians. This big old honka honk was $10 and this one was nine. That's not enough of a price difference now that I look at them. But that being said, I bought it because this one, look, it was like cracked. You're not gonna be able to see that at all. Hold on, un momento. Can you see it like this? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. See, it's like cracked and you can see inside of it. And, and you know, for being the uh, fertility stone, it's a little bit vaginal. I'm just saying. Anyway, so I did go and I did get those crystals. I've already got a text message from Crystal. That's funny. <laughs> that was like, you went to the crystal store without me? Um, yes, I did. I'm so sorry, Crystal, but we will go together because I still want more. They gave me a free stone as well, which was a little amethyst. And this one's like a tumbled one. So, which is what these are as well. I kind of prefer the raw ones, but they didn't have a great selection of raw carnelian. Geminix has the best lemonade, second only to the Lord's Lemonade at Chick-fil-A. But <laughs> anyway, um, I prefer the raw stones, like I was saying. Oh, this is not a great angle. Um, however, they just didn't have a great selection. Okay, I got the tumbled ones, and then she gave me the free little amethyst, which is fine because I actually, when I'm thrifting today, I need to look and see if I can find a cute little basket. Because next to um, our beds, well, next to Austin's bed on his nightstand, I want to do a basket that's just filled with amethyst. And I'm just going to go, I think, on Etsy. There's a lot of crystal sellers that have really good prices. And just buy some bulk amethyst because apparently it's good for sleeping. And also I read, I, I'm so sorry, um, that if you put an amethyst, or maybe it was clear quartz, there's one stone. I'm going to say amethyst that if you put it under your pillow, it can help with, it can help you. Um, oh my gosh. What's it called? Dream. Where you can control your dreams. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I'll pop the name up here because I will find it out, but where you can like, when you're dreaming and you're aware that your dreams dreaming, and then you can control it and it's really cool and everybody who's ever done it says it's really cool i have almost done it once um where i and it was a nightmare and i was aware that i was dreaming but i couldn't wake up um but it wasn't like sleep paralysis which i have had many 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 times and that is a story for another day just another piece of childhood trauma you know um but yeah so we're gonna do some research on that because I would love to control my dreams. I used to, okay, so here's a fun fact about me. Um, I joke a lot about childhood trauma, but I do have a lot of it. And in the like height of the things that caused my childhood drama, trauma, I was having a severe sleep paralysis like five, six, seven times a week, like almost every night, if not every night. And it was awful, horrible, 
horrendous, the worst time of my life. And so I told myself, I just said, Jonna, you're not dreaming anymore. Stop dreaming. And the brain is a crazy thing. I just stopped dreaming. Um, and I had not dreamed. It's very rare that I will remember a dream until recently. Um, I just I thought I was pregnant, but I'm not. <laughs> that was fun. Um, <laughs> because that's also um, vivid dreams are a sign of pregnancy. But when you haven't dream, dreamt since you were in third grade, you just kind of, uh, anything seems vivid. Um, but I've been having some really weird dreams lately. So I would like to uh, start controlling them and having the best time of my life at night. Because sleeping is kind of my worst time of day. It's really painful. I usually wake up in so much pain that I'm paralyzed. So at least if we can do some happy dreams, that'll be great. Okay, so we're going to the thrift store now. Bye. Also in case you were invested, yes, I sure did get another one of these. This is not even started yet. This is literally all I've done, but this has been purchased. I have a vision. This is not it, but I do have a vision. So just, I'm excited. Hello. Hold on. Let me get the things I'm going to talk about out of my door. So, I went back out. And this is why I'm not a housewife. Because while I did do a lot of cleaning today, I also did a lot of shopping that we don't need to talk about. So, here's what happened. I went back out for... What did I go back out for? Oh, I was going to go thrifting. I did go thrifting. I found a couple of pieces. I don't care to see that one. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> All over the place. Um, and then I ran to Hobby Lobby because I remembered I had a gift card. It turns out the gift card was for $50, so I got some really good stuff. So here's the deal, guys. At the thrift store, I got two things. So the less exciting one first, this. So I told you guys previously, I think in the last vlog maybe, um, that I was looking for glassware to paint to look like pottery. Um, so I got this, the cork is gonna go. Um, I think this would be cute, like super cute in terracotta with some dried florals in it, maybe like some pampas grass, pompous grass. I don't know, but I thought that was really cute. And then I found this little dish of my dreams. It's so gross right now. So I'm gonna um, paint it. Uh, well, I'm gonna clean it first. That's why it was in my dishwasher. And then I'm gonna paint it. I love this. I'm gonna put my crystals in it. Better than a basket. Um, I love this detail down here, the lines, just beautiful. Um, I'm going to spray paint it this like cream color, like an almondy cream. Um, it's in Austin's office. I just set it down because I told him he um, he builds figures, figurines, I guess. I don't know how to say that. I'm not making fun of it. It's my vows that I'm not making fun of it. Um, so I'm not making fun of it, but he is a better spray painter than me because of it. I've never, well, I've never spray painted anything in my life. So I'm gonna let him do that. I'm just gonna be really cute with my crystals in it. And then I also picked this up. This We're starting Hobby Lobby now. I picked this up because I needed a catch-all bowl for the non-holidays for my entryway. I'm going to paint this the same color. And by me, I mean Austin. So we're gonna put that in here so he can spray paint that hopefully tomorrow. Oh my god, I just like banged it. Oh my gosh, my whole heart. I just about cried. So there's that. All right, so moving on. I also, in the same aisle, picked this base up. I love this like amber color. Beautiful. Again, would look beautiful with the like pompous grass or those like dried like fan leaves. Just saying, there's a lot of opportunity here. And it's beautiful. Would also just be cute with nothing in it, but we'll see what happens. Um, we're planning here in the next couple weeks to get, well, not get, yes, get. We're going to buy this media unit from Ikea that I'm going to DIY into something else. Um, not DIY it into something else. It's still gonna be a media unit, but I'm going to do some, like, I'm gonna put wood panels on it and paint it black. <laughs> so there we go. Um, anyway, that, it will take up the entire wall up into the window and be very long and have lots of room to do decor. So always looking for things to go there. Then this little bitty, this was, everything was on sale by the way, as it always is. So both of those glassware pieces were 40% off. This was 50% off, I think. And it is just this beautiful little terracotta pot. Don't know what I'm gonna put in it. Don't know where I'm gonna put it. 
but I love it because I'm a terracotta bee. And then this is the part that embarrasses me, you guys. You guys have seen my kitchen. I have talked in the past about, I'm sorry, I'm also boiling potatoes for mashed potatoes to go with the corned beef that I made. So I'm trying to keep an eye on those. But um, you guys have seen my kitchen. I've talked about this before. I collect redone. It's not something I'm proud of, but it is the thing. I hate that I like it because so many people have it. It is like the widest thing in the world. And like, I realize I am also like the widest person in the world, but there's just something about it that it, I'm drawn to. I love it and it is beautiful to me. Um, but I understand as well that it is ridiculous. And every time I go to TJ Maxx, Marshall's, Home Goods, and now Hobby Lobby, apparently, um, I'm embarrassed when I buy something redone. And especially when I'm like looking at this stuff at Hobby Lobby and this girl and her mom pass and the little, not the little girl, she was like a teenager. She goes, mom, that's redone. Look, it's at Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, oh my God. No, I, I just, I'm embarrassed, but I love it. And I'm, I shouldn't be embarrassed. So anyway, they now carry like utensils for your kitchen. So I picked up five. <laughs> so they had them in white and black. I'm a little surprised I didn't get the black, but I've been leaning more towards white kitchen things since we have a white kitchen. And because when we build and I eventually do my black kitchen, then it'll be a nice offset. I, I'm still not decided that we're gonna do black one day, but it's back and forth. <laughs> anyway, so they obviously say the thing, stir, flip and then this set I really liked because these are um I don't know other utensils not like your spoons and things so this whisk is absolutely beautiful and I'm excited because I actually don't have a metal whisk I just have a silicone one and then I don't have an ice cream scoop it says scoop um oh the whisk says whip which I like and then I did not need a can opener, but here I am with my new really done can opener that says surprise, surprise, open. So that's my haul. I still have more haul. I still have makeup to talk about that I've purchased over the last two weeks. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you this. So that's my, my day. I spent a lot of shopping. This vlog is going to be so long and it's all just going to be me shopping. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to everybody. Not to brag or anything, but Mariah and I um, have been dreading this one piece of shiplap here because it was the piece we had to cut. And listen, it's not perfect, but but it's perfect. <laughs> Obviously, it needs painted, and we haven't even nailed it yet. But Say hi, Lincoln. is that one of my favorite babies in the whole world? Yes. <laughs> He's like, I'm over this. I'm already a star. <laughs> Elizabeth, stop scratching the headboard. Milo. Thank you. That was just a little painful. It's time for a little DIY update. Ignore the incessant hammering and drilling and all kinds of things. There's construction behind my house. However, I hauled this earlier in the vlog. I'm sure you remember it was minutes ago. <laughs> and I got this at Goodwill for $1.99. It was absolutely disgusting. I did end up washing it and it was a completely clear piece of glass, um, but I did get it with the intent to spray paint it to a neutral color. And I chose this one. It's looking like a little yellow in here, but it's a really pretty like cream color. And it is beautiful. I love the base of it absolutely stunning and I'm keeping crystals in here eventually it's um I'd originally thought that I was going to do the carnelian in here because I want to do like a whole bowl of one stone but I think um this is really pretty and very similar to what rose quartz looks like so I think I'm going to get a whole bunch of rose quartz in here and it may end up going downstairs but for now it's on my nightstand and I love it hey is you being a brat did you say hi to the mailman today? We got a delivery and he is really, he loves when people come over. Like anytime anyone's at the door, he will come to the door and like stand on his hind legs and say hi. And so when the doorbell rang, we have Vivint. And so I went to look at the doorbell to see who it was. And it was just a delivery. Um, but I caught at the end, he started waving and I was like, what are you doing? And then he goes, hi, little kitty. It was Mido. It was Mido we were waving at, huh? 
He is so cute. Unfortunately, the transaction wasn't long enough to film. Will you please stay for a second? Please? So I did not record and now I'm sad, but I got to see it, so I'm happy. That's all I have. Okay, bye. Hello. So, um, I figured now is as good a time as ever because I am about to finish up my first set of work for the day. There we go. Um, so, yesterday I hauled my crystals that I bought yesterday. So my two carnelians. Look at these big boys. Oh my gosh. And then the little piece. Oh, that's not it. Don't look. And then the little piece of amethyst that they gave me. So, now that that is um, out of the way, I forgot to actually haul what I got. Um, gosh, has it been two weeks now? No, it was just a week ago. Um, but from Oklahoma when we went to that crystal store, which I'm going to be real, the crystal store down the street from my house here in Tennessee, not as good as the crystal store in Oklahoma, but I'm sure there are better ones. I probably just have to go into like Nashville proper to actually see them. So I got four. Um, I'm going to start with this one because I don't remember the name of this one. Um, somewhere in our family group chat, uh, Brittany, Austin's cousin, um, she's really more like a sister-in-law, let's be real, um, <laughs> sent me the name and the meaning because both of us and um, Austin's brother's girlfriend all sent us, or all bought one, um, but she was just going on about how it was like good for trauma and healing, and I was like, oh, about childhood trauma, I got a lot of that, let's Let's purchase her. So she's really pretty. She, if you put her under like um, a black light, she glows, um, or black light, I think that's what they had it under. I don't know. Um, they, it glowed like super pink. Um, and it is probably a little pale pink. Hard to, like, it's a little bit of a pale pink, but it, it looks kind of just clear or white if you don't have it under that light. But, that's it. And then, like I told you guys, um, the moonstone for the divine femininity trying you guys um so i picked that up this is an itty bitty one i they were super low on stock in these they had like this big wood cabinet that had like little cubbies for all the like smaller crystals that they carried and that one was like completely sold out so i just reached my hand in and picked it and that was the one that i picked um, and then, uh, as we were walking out, I picked up two more, like I was going to stop there. And then we were walking towards checkout and I saw two more that I had to have. So this is my fire quartz. First of all, she is beautiful. She is definitely pink and she's got this nice little like red streak in her. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've never looked crazier in my life. Um, but she is beautiful. And this is apparently for focusing so i was like let me just put a million and seven of those in my office so that is the plan one day and then the last one i got was clear quartz which is like the ultimate healing stone this is my favorite one that i got this one is like it's rough on this side but then this side is super smooth she's just very satisfying I just touch my skin with her just saying she's very satisfying so that's my crystal haul I do have some more makeup to haul as well while we're sitting here because listen a couple weeks ago or not a couple weeks ago this has been over a couple of weeks um this is not all at once but while i was out at the store <coughs> so sorry i picked up um this is when i went grocery shopping i picked up a couple of eyeshadow palettes because wet and wild one of my favorite brands rebranded their eyeshadow palette so these are their normal color icons they have the five pans and these are two four six eight ten pans um and they're much larger pans than they used to be and i absolutely love them hold on they're kind of hard to open you know i wear nails so it's okay that's what tweezers are for um so this is i'm gonna be really honest with you the name of the palettes were on the um, the piece of plastic you tear off. That was a bad choice, Wet n Wild. How, so I have no idea what these are called. However, this one is beautiful. This is the first one that caught my eye. And of course the lighting is trash because this one in the middle, this like 
bluey green teal has some beautiful purple reflect glitter in it and it's absolutely stunning obsessed and then i picked up two of the 10 pans because i couldn't help myself um at first i almost talked myself out of the cooler tone one because and not because I'm a warm tone gal, like I love all tones of eyeshadow, but because I thought that these two were similar, now that I've opened them and actually gotten to take a look at them, they are definitely not. Um, again, there, there's bad lighting in here, so this does not even do them justice. However, like these two shades right here give me Natasha Denona vibes, honestly. Like the texture in them, ooh, they're pretty. And this little copper, so gorgeous. Um, and then again, a nice like dark teal in here, stunning. And then the last one was the warmer tone of the two big ones. And again, like this one right here has so much texture in that eyeshadow, like you can see it. These are stunning. Um, kind of wish they had a couple more mattes in this one, but also this like shimmery one down here it's kind of hard to see the texture of it but it's absolutely stunning so absolutely gorgeous i think i'm gonna use these i'm probably not gonna put any eyeshadow on today um but maybe i'll use this tomorrow and have some fun with it and then i did a little sephora haul my friends so Okay, both of these were in my Sephora fantasy cart. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. I can't believe I bought them. Um, but the Hourglass Ambient Lighting. Oh, it is dirty. That is so rude. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let me get my blanket. That's better. Um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette in Sculpture. And this is the palette that they come out with like every year. And it is absolutely to die for this one on sale i don't remember how much it normally costs but i think i got it for 45 or 48 which is absolutely a steal for these because these powders the single powders alone are so expensive i have in the past purchased um one of just the um lighting powders not like the bronzer blush or the highlighter just one of the powders i also had um that three pan palette that they i think is permanent i've had that before as well absolutely beautiful like i used those up not a drop left like not hit pan and then like threw it away used every drop because it's so expensive and i love it oh this is my new mug and uh, not mug it's like a cup but i got it in my same order as this shirt I love it. it says working nine to five because obviously we stand all things dolly but these are amazing since using this palette i will probably buy next year's as well it is so good the blushes are to die for this one has definitely been like my go-to absolutely stunning this bronzer incredible i love these powders i've always loved these powders they just are so gorgeous and this highlighter hold on this is the highlighter <laughs> this highlighter not like my favorite highlighter in the world but it is what i'm wearing today i can't really see much on the cheeks but the nose this nice little highlight just a nice everyday highlight and then because i was making an order i told you guys that i would be purchasing this this is my first pat mcgrath palette this is the sorry i took my minute there <laughs> the celestial divinity luxe quad from the called interstellar icon so this was one of the holiday quads that she did first of all okay this is not gonna do it justice at all but the packaging so high quality i kind of wish though that if it meant getting a more affordable product that we would just go ahead and do cheaper packaging because i want to purchase all of them but i literally bought it for the shade and i am obsessed however since then i have used i think all shades but this one i don't think i've worn this yet um i don't think so no but i did wear these two in the last vlog actually when i went to the vet with um my cat elizabeth oh my god i'm the worst mom in the world um these are amazing they're incredible love them 
Um, also, I don't think I updated you guys on Elizabeth, but I have one more thing to haul. Hold on. Um, I ordered, you know, I should get everything. No, it's fine. I'll just talk about the other things. I don't need to show them. So I made a Glossier order because I was out of my brow flick. And so I bought two. And while I was there, I went ahead and threw in the a new cloud paint. This is in Spark. Now I am wearing this today, but I had to <laughs> blend it out with my foundation because it is so bright. Like when you see this red color, they're not playing games. This is one, they're all really pigmented, but you can like the dusk is the other shade I have, which is a neutral, like a nude. This one, no, you need like the tiniest bit, but it is a really pretty like just came in from the snow, you know. Um, I also picked up the bomb.com in the mango. I got the the nightstand duo, which is that and the hand cream. Now the bomb.com, I'm not gonna lie. I do really like it. However, you do not need it. It's literally flavored Vaseline. Um, but the packaging is so cute and I probably will continue to buy a few more until I decide that I don't need to spend that money. However, the hand cream, undeniably my second favorite, like the brow flick will always be my favorite product. Um, that hand cream, second favorite product. First of all, the packaging is like this beautiful, I'll show it eventually, um, like this soft touch packaging and it's in the same scent as their perfume, the Glossier U, which is my favorite scent. Oh my God, it's amazing. So there's that. And then the update on Elizabeth. That's the other thing I needed to talk about. Oh my gosh, this, this vlog is nothing but hauls. I'm so sorry. But I did not update you guys on what was going on with Elizabeth. Um, she is fine. She is her mother's daughter. She has IBS. Love that. So we've been giving her medicine, um, which she is very bad at taking, and a probiotic, which she doesn't really eat. So that's how things have been going, but she is fine. Um, she's healthy as a horse, they said. She's just gassy. <laughs> so we're trying to remedy that because her tummy is bloated. And of course that's uncomfortable. Um, so we're trying to see if there's anything we can do, but at the end of the day, it's IBS, which I did not know cats had. So of course I would have the cat with IBS. Love that for me. Okay, that's all I have. Bye.